Hello, hello, everybody. Happy Friday. How y'all doing? How are things? I noticed we have uh, we got some new members, you guys. So welcome to Stephanie Ostrom and welcome to Christine R. That's pretty cool to start with. Welcome. And uh, I think I need to actually update the link to the Discord. So I will do that after this. How's everybody doing? Happy live. I love this comment. Happy live. Oh, got my hair and brows done today. I love that. I dyed mine as well. I dyed my brows. It's a must, you know? Oh, man. We have a lot to talk about. So before we jump into it, if you have not already liked and subscribed, go ahead and do that. I have turned on uh, subscriber mode only. So if you are watching and you would like to participate in the chat, which is a good time, it's a great time over here, uh, I'm being told, go ahead and subscribe. And I think you have to wait like five minutes. So, okay. If you are brand new to my channel, what is up? I'm glad you're here. My name is Erin Bees. I am a wife, a mom, a military veteran, and I spent 13 and a half years in multi-level marketing, healed my way out, and now I'm using all of my social media platforms to educate and raise awareness around the dangers of multi-level marketing companies and the tactics used by the reps. You can follow me on Instagram at The Real Beast Mode. TikTok is Beast Mode LV. I had to think about that for a second. And uh, I have been a little bit more active on Facebook. So you can follow me there. It's just under my name, Aaron Bees. So yeah, welcome everyone. We have some things to talk about. Yeah. Per my last live stream. Was it a live stream or an edited video? I think it was a live stream. Let me look, because I actually can't remember. Hold please. I think it was a live stream. From Wednesday, yeah, that was a live stream. Anyways, um, <laughs> I don't even know where to start with this, you guys. The messages, the emails that I have received have been insane. So originally, when I planned this live stream, I was just going to tell the stories. However, some of you incredible human beings out there sent me this video. So even though this is titled a horror story, an MLM horror story, I'm still going to share some of the stories and the experiences, but we're also going to react to a video. Is that cool with you guys? If it is, let me know in the comments. Yes, it will be another Melissa Collins story. Yeah, yeah. Also, our friend Megan Desart and her friend Heather makes an appearance too. So I love that for them. Hi, guys. Hope you're watching. Okay. I'm newish to your channel and loving the anti-MLM content. Herbalife keeps setting up juicy, ju juice, juicy, <laughs> juice slash smoothie shops here in my neighborhood, which is majorly, uh, which is majority Latino. I can't stand that and how they target. Oh, I can't stand that. Welcome. I'm glad that you're here and hopefully you can share uh, I know Karina has talked about it. MLM Exit on Instagram has talked about Herbalife. Who else talks about Herbalife? Um, and Karina's channel is, she she's bilingual. So she speaks Spanish and has done a lot of stuff. So you can check that out. And if any of the mods are in here and want to drop Karina's link, that would be cool. So welcome. Okay, let's get into this. So I did a live stream on Wednesday and it had been about a year since I had talked about life activated brands, um, also known as lab. And in the video from a year ago, I believe it was also Melissa Collins, uh, that I reacted to. Hey, welcome reading whenever. I'm so glad you're here. Welcome. Savannah Marie also has some Herbalife videos. And anytime you're looking for, let me just throw this out there too. Anytime you're looking for anti MLM content on a specific company, you can type in YouTube, anti MLM and then the name of the company. And I'm sure that you will find, unless it's a brand new company, you'll find a lot of uh, information there. So just food for thought on that too. But yes, Savannah as well. There's a lot of people that have covered it. Thank you mods. I appreciate y'all. Shout out to the moderators. You guys are awesome. Um, oh Lord. Found out today that an author I follow is in Modair. Oh, that's, a, that's unfortunate. Happy last day of Gay Pride Month. Ready to hear some MLM horror stories to get me ready for Gay Wrath Month. <laughs> Happy Pride, everybody. 
Okay, so it's been about a year since I have covered Life Activated Brands and uh, Melissa Collins. And the information that has come in has been absurd. I don't know how else to describe it. However, it's really interesting to me because the amount of people that have messaged me or emailed me, uh, they're all saying similar things. So clearly, it appears, in my opinion, there is a pattern. So as we go about reacting to this video together that I was sent, shout out to you guys. Y'all are amazing for sending this my way. Um, I'm going to sprinkle some of that information in here. So I'm sure you guys are totally cool with that, right? <sighs> Give us the deets. You know, I got you. All right. Let's uh, go ahead and get this started. I'm sh I, I'm blind reacting to this. I have no idea what they're talking about. I have no idea. I can't even prepare you guys as far as like content warning. So, you know, if it becomes too much, just step on out. Skip the live. I, I get it. Okay. And also like the stream. Okay. There's 162, 64, excuse me, of you on here. So just go ahead and click the thumbs up for me. All right. Let's do this. There are pictures keep, why is this acting crazy? All right. I think we're alive. Stream. It says we're live. There's a little red live button. Oh. Let me know if the sound is too loud. I can turn them down a little bit as well. Or if I'm too loud, let me know. We're here. The stream yard is acting up. And they, they changed it. All right. So I am here. Um, I'm going to introduce myself. For those of you on my personal profile, that's a little weird because you're like, we know who you are. But it, this is going to go more places than that. So my name's What? <laughs> the arrogance. Melissa, I hate to break it to you, but other than your name being on there, a, a lot of people don't know who you are unless they're in MLM, unless they're in life activated brands or Isogenics, the company that you came from. So that's embarrassing. Melissa Collins, I'm the chief marketing officer of life activated brands. And I asked um, Megan and Megan Desart and Heather Gilbert, if they would come and do a live with me and some of their people and talk about their last seven days of experience joining Life Activated Brands. So first of all, I their last seven days. That's interesting. When was, I don't know when this video was put up, but it's been alleged to me that Megan actually enrolled on the 13th of June. So let me actually correct myself from the last live stream. Uh, I stated because it had been alleged to me at that time that she had ha had a position in Life Activated Brands for a year and a half to two years. I was wrong. So let me correct myself. Uh, she actually enrolled on June 13th of this year. So just, you know, however long that is. What's today? The 30th. 17 days ago. So if she enrolled 17 days ago, Melissa, the math is not mathing here. It's not mathing. Hmm. Isn't that interesting, guys, how that works? Huh. I was going to say something else and I can't remember. So let's just keep it moving. It'll come back to me. I want to express some gratitude for you ladies. You guys are incredible to work with. I remember. I remember what I was going to say. Melissa said, I asked them to go live. And I'm wondering because one thing that I have been told continuously, not continuously, let me use a different word. Uh, an abundant amount of times. <laughs> is that Melissa does not like when other leaders do their own thing. She wants to be the one at the top. She wants to be the one that is training. She wants to be the only leader. Everybody else falls in line. And if you don't fall in line, you get exiled, which is very MLM of her. Don't you guys think? Yeah. And you know, you never know that before someone, there's always like, this little period before someone start, you start working closely together where you're like cordial to each other. And so nothing real happens. And then like, and then stuff happens and then you find out. Right. So I feel like I, just that was a lot of word salad. Do you just mean she brought a bunch of people from her previous company? Is that the stuff that happens that you were, or happened that you're referring to? This language is so weird, Melissa. Weird. 
I just want to say thank you. I'm grateful for the two of you. It's a, it's a breath of fresh air to work with professionals, um, people with their emotions in check, emotionally intelligent adults that are, you know, just here because they wanted a vehicle to drive. <laughs> Am I going to be pausing this a lot? Yes, I have a lot to say. So sorry, guys, if that if that bothers you, I apologize. Um, <laughs> it's really interesting to hear her talk about being an adult and having emotions in check. Very interesting, considering behind the scenes, it's been alleged to me that that is not at all how Melissa operates. And let me also speak on the reason that I'm doing this video is because all of the things that Melissa said that she was from the previous video, you know, we are, we're professionals here and we don't do mean girl things. And, you know, all of those, I can't remember all of the things that she said, but the mean girl thing, we don't, we don't stop checks. We don't keep checks. Uh, yeah, the lie detector determined that that was a lie. So that's why we're here today. Yeah. Just wanted to clear that up for everybody. Five, and we happen to have a vehicle that works for them. So also massive congratulations. You guys have built a team of over 350 people and have done over $70,000 in sales in seven days. Hmm. 70,000 in seven days, Melissa. The back office doesn't show that. The back office shows, let me get my notes out. Hold on. The back office shows that, uh, hold please, that not only was Megan giving given a substantial amount of volume, meaning she was put somewhere in the tree where a bunch of people were automatically under her, but also the gal below her, Heather was as well. So these fake promotions were because they were specifically placed allegedly in the tree where people have there's people under them which i'm pretty sure melissa is familiar with because it's also been alleged to me that she was moved to the, to the top of the company by brandon the ceo of the company and everybody was put under her and she was pinned at the i think it's like a hundred million dollar rank or something like that hundred million but her volume is quite fascinating as of april of 2023, she only had like 15,000 roughly of personal volume on both sides of the tree. So that's interesting how all of that works. Again, an example of the math is not mathing. Um, that's pretty incredible. So congratulations. I just want to give you guys the opportunity to um, share a little bit about why you said yes to life activated brands. Tell us. And, and you know, Can't like wait. I said, you don't really find out everything until you're here and yeah. you've stepped behind the curtain and take, taken a look around. So feel free to. Yeah. I hope they talk about the app because the app was allegedly the information on the app that we have access to. It's already been downloaded. Yeah. Anyways, um, the app is like $54 a month and allegedly that money goes directly into Melissa's pocket. So if you become a distributor in this company and you want to be trained, you are instructed, and this has also been alleged to me, to download this app, which is $5 a month or $54 for the month. And all of the training on there apparently has been taken from Lair Leitner, who was a part of this company and has since left. We're not here to talk about Lair Leitner. That's, yeah, that's a whole... I don't even know what to call that, but that's a whole nother thing. We're here to talk about these three and life activated brands. So Lair Leitner was a part of this company and was in Melissa's downline somewhere and Lair left. And apparently all of those people, she moved up or placed them in different positions so that she would financially benefit. Brandon, the CEO, allegedly has pinned her at a specific rank and uh, she doesn't really, it sounds like, have the volume to be getting that kind of pay. So on the previous live where she was talking about, man, I am spilling all the tea guys uh, on the previous live where she was talking about 
um, you know, I took this this position as the CMO and I'm not requiring a salary. Yeah? I'm doing it because I love you guys. Yeah, she's doing that because she's already pinned at a rank and her income has already like tripled from being pinned at that rank and having everybody in the company under her. So even though, in my opinion, she's saying I'm doing this because I love you guys. I'm doing this because I want the best for you. No, she's doing it because she's been pinned at a rank and everybody's below her and she's making a substantial amount of money. And she's using that as a way, in my opinion, to, I don't know, virtue signal to make it sound like she's a good human. And it's been alleged to me that she is not. Share anything that you want about what your experience has been so far. And then I know that we have in the waiting room some of your teammates that want to come share their experience too, Great because while look at the end of the day, while it's cool that you guys are, you guys are professionals in the industry. It's cool that you can come in and make some money, but you can do that anyway. Like, let's uh -huh, just be yeah. honest. You let's guys yeah. can do that anyway. Um, what Melissa, let's be real honest. Let's be real honest. And since we're being real honest, uh, you claiming that your son is actively building and that you don't enroll people. I don't think that's very accurate. I think actually what's happening is you are enrolling people and you're putting them under him. Yeah. Yikes. More to come on that later. But I, what matters to me is that your people are feeling supported and, and successful and like they are winning too. And so I really wanted an opportunity for your people to come speak. So Megan, do you want to start us off? Mm. Yeah, absolutely. Hey guys, thanks for hopping on. Um, so I bet. By the way, I didn't see you guys answer if the sound was okay or too loud or whatnot. I mean, I know you guys can turn it down, but you know. Yeah, it's $54 for the year. <coughs> Excuse me. Sorry, $54 a year or $4.99 a month, I believe. Sorry, I misspoke. That's my fault, guys, for an app. Yeah. And do you think she's disclosed that the profit goes into her pocket? No, it sounds like it goes to life activated brands. No, allegedly it goes in Melissa's pocket. So <laughs> Janet, I bet it was God guiding her probably. Yeah. Lots of, lots of tea. Get your popcorn ready. This is wild. Sound is good. Okay. Thanks guys. I just want to make sure. I've been in the industry for nine years and I've been with a few different companies and been a top leader for the, probably the last five years. And I've been in health and wellness the entire time. Uh -huh. I've had some really great products, really great health and like total body health products. And I've had some kind of more kind of hypey products that don't really, that are, aren't really, they're more like just kind of weight loss products. Right. And after my last company, I was feeling extremely burnout. The products were really not total body health products. They were my, but <laughs> I almost said Heather, what's her name? Megan. You sure didn't really slow down on trying to sell that overpriced meditation BS product. By the way, you can meditate for free. You don't you don't need anything to meditate. Isn't that cool? I know you guys know that, but uh, she sure was trying to pitch their most expensive product from Awakened. And by the way, how many companies has she been a part of? Let's just go back. We know she's been a part of Beachbody. Uh, what is the one that Van from Elamir, the CEO of Elamir, was in bio something? She was in Black Oxygen Organics. That should speak volume. She was literally selling dirt. <laughs> Ma'am. Uh, let's see. What else was she in? She was in Awakened. I know I'm missing some. I know I'm missing some. Wasn't she in It Works? Maybe I'm... Hmm. Bio Reigns. Thank you, Janet. Yeah, she was in Bio Reigns. <laughs> Don't dirty dog us, Megan. Shout out to Tracy. Shout out to Tracy. Oh, <laughs> uh, yeah, she was in she was in Black Oxygen Organics. Yeah. Uh, was she in Tremont? I don't remember. She was in a whole bunch of products. And one thing I know about people, based on my own experience, is... <laughs> Because I was a part of six companies over 13 and a half uh, years. So when you join a new company, you typically don't talk about the previous company. And then all the results that you got 
or didn't get or whatever are from the new company. The cold hard truth about it, you guys, is that in health and wellness MLMs and a lot of the products that they offer, there are appetite suppressants. There are things for energy. And when you have more energy, you typically are able to do a little bit more than you normally do because you have more energy. And when you pair that with having appetite suppressant in the product that you're taking, so you're not eating as much and you're getting more steps in. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, it's freaking crazy. Anyway, she's been in a whole host of companies. We've seen her grift from company to company. And by her, I mean Megan, although Melissa has done it as well. And her bestie, Heather here, Megan's bestie, uh, also typically joins her in company to company. So it's a family grift. <laughs> kind of overpriced, hypey products. Um, the company itself disappointed a lot of people. And as a leader, I've been a leader creating systems, you know. But you sure did wait to resign until you got that check, didn't you, Megan? Mm -hmm. Leading teams, doing calls, onboarding, all the things for a long time oh, and thanks. was feeling just burnt out as a leader and almost ready to walk away. Uh, but I love ML. We've heard that story before, how she was burnt out and maybe multi-level marketing, maybe network marketing isn't for me. And then all of a sudden, boom, she hops it into a new company and brings everybody from the previous companies with her. And then you have these companies that have fast start programs. And so she jumps up the ranks. She makes a whole bunch of, bunch of money. And it kind of, you know, simmers down a little bit. And then she moves on to the next grift. In my opinion, that's absolutely Megan's pattern. Also, shout out to Megan. I see you, girl. Um, once it's in your blood, it's hard to walk away, right? <laughs> once you have this type of freedom and what it can do for your family, because it's completely changed my family's life, it's hard to say, oh, I'm just going to walk away. Mm -hmm. And I've looked at a lot of different companies out there, and there was Did nothing you? that was speaking to me as far as everything that I needed checked as far as the boxes, like products that were affordable, that really worked, that people love, that they wanted to buy every single month, you know, great systems. Cause I didn't want to create the systems. I was over creating systems mm -hmm. and then a compensation plan that didn't just reward the leaders. Cause where I came from, it was a compensation plan that unless you were a top leader, you weren't making money. Like they paid $15 on a $150 product and Heather, why are you down there nodding your head like everything she's saying is right on? You know she was given volume and you know you were given volume. You were placed higher in the binary tree, if you will. I love when they tell on themselves. <laughs> also, exactly what Charlene just said. We have heard this so many times. I'm pretty sure we could find the videos of Megan saying the very same things about Awakened when she joined. I'm sure we could find videos of her saying that, saying this, when she joined BioRains or Black Oxygen Organics. We can hear this because all they do is rinse and repeat. Wash, rinse, repeat. Wash, rinse, repeat. That's what they do. And um, it was just, it was getting really disheartening seeing my team struggle to make money. <clears throat> so... Megan, did you tell them, the team members that came over with you, even though you didn't get a, a, a deal, a bridge contract, did you tell them about the volume you were given? Did you tell them, hey, you know, we're going to win over here, knowing that you're probably the only one that's going to win because of how high you were placed in the tree? Did you disclose that to them? Because you're expecting them to start all over. Because that's one thing that these late leaders that take these kinds of special deals, whether it's a bridge contract through the company, a bridge contract through one of the top leaders in the company. Yeah, that happens and allegedly has happened in Prove It. We'll save that for another day. Um, or they have these things where they, you know, move them into different positions within the tree, within the comp plan, within, you know, the, the organization, if you will. And these two, Heather and Megan, allegedly, have been moved pretty high in the tree, meaning they get instant payday. Yeah. Are you, are you telling your team member that team members? I hope they're watching because you should ask her if you are a team member of 
Megan or Heather. I know people are not going to question Melissa because she exiles you if you do, but you guys should ask Heather and Megan if you're on her team and you happen to be watching. If they got a special deal, did they get moved higher in the placement tree? Did they were they gifted a large amount of volume? Both of them, a large amount of volume. You should ask those questions because they're not probably going to tell you. When I got on a call with Melissa and Brandon, uh, a few things really spoke to me. One was Melissa's systems. I like the systems that they had here for... Oh, you mean the the app that we have um, all, all of the videos pretty much downloaded so that the anti-MLM movement can react to it? Are, are you talking about those? Like her social media training? Or the copy and paste message that you and Heather posted? It started something like... Uh, guys, I'm going to be sharing something super vulnerable, so I would appreciate if you read the whole post. Yeah, that came from the app. And allegedly, the information came from Lair Lightner. So, Melissa, other than creating the app, paying out of pocket, allegedly, for this app. Uh, hmm. Yikes. For everyone, not just leaders, but literally everyone, like an app that onboards your people for you, that tells your people, like as a leader, or a, 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 even if you sponsor one person, you're going to get the question, okay, what do I do? What do I do every day? What do I do now to build a business? And well, Karina, once they showed me an app that literally tells people every single day what to do, it literally takes the pressure off of anyone sponsoring, not just leaders, but the, how about the new people that sponsor someone and they don't know how to lead, right? So they don't have to. They, hey, here's an app. It tells you what to do. It onboards you. It's super simple. It's super. And it's an app that they have to pay for that Melissa allegedly benefits from financially. Do you think she's telling people that? Probably not intuitive. Um, so that was huge. And then the systems for leaders specifically that prevent that leader burnout. When you launch a business at the end of two weeks, you basically just want to roll over and die because you're like 500 messages in messenger every day. You're on your phone, glued to your phone. Megan, what happened to time freedom? I remember you specifically talking about time freedom within awakened. Was that not truthful? Were you sending 500 messages a day? Yikes. On 14 hours a day. And so when I saw the systems that she had to prevent that, <laughs> uh, I was like, okay, I'm, my ears are perked up now. Uh -huh. Then I tried the products and I'm I bet your ears perked up when she said, Hey, I'll put you high up in this, you know, the organization and we'll put this amount of volume. I do have, <laughs> I do have the amount of volume, but I'm not going to say it. It's a large amount of volume. Okay. Uh, I bet that's what perked your ears because at the end of the day, Megan, I really do think that you're a grifter and you're always going to do what's best for you, not best for you, what benefits you the most at the expense of other people, in my opinion. And the interesting part about that is I feel like Megan and Melissa just entered the boxing ring and I'm waiting for them to go at it because at the end of the day, I feel like both of these people are individuals that they say that they care about other people, but at the end of the day, I feel like they are really only going to do whatever they have to do for themselves, uh, their finances, and their families. And I, I, I can't wait to see the sparks fly. I'm making a prediction now. Drop all the prediction <laughs> emotes in the, in the comments if you're a member, because these two, I really do think are going to go at it, and it's going to be delicious to watch. Yeah. I'm literally obsessed with the products. Like it feels really good to be aligned with products that truly help, you know, gut health, energy, sleep, detox, you know, it does help you lose weight, but it's not a weight loss products per se. I'm sorry. Are you talking about awakened or life activated brands? I'm confused, Megan. Um, and then like the Moringa okay. drink, I'm literally obsessed with it. It's like a total body health drink. It's it has so many benefits. When I started the Katie, uh, 
I'm putting my request in for you to hit the science of those claims that Megan just made. I know you're driving. Don't comment now. You can message me later. Products and started actually feeling good again. I'm like, man, I feel really good. I'm down like five pounds. I have all day energy. Like I just was feeling healthy again. Oh my um, God. And then to see the compensation plan, the way it paid out people that could come in and sell so a few products to their network. Cause let's be real. Most people that come into network marketing, are not good at building a team unless they are a leader. They're not good at recruiting. Uh, or unless they accept special deals behind the scenes that they don't disclose to their team. Allegedly, of course. Recruiting. They might recruit a couple of people, but they can go sell some products that they love, that they stand behind and share them with their network and sell them to sell some products. And so when I saw that people could make $75 on a $150 order and that order of $150 came with a system. Oh my God, I have to tell you guys this. I have to tell you guys this. Uh, I was having a conversation with somebody, no, I'm not gonna disclose who it is, but one of the messages that I got from, uh, that inspired this entire live stream, I'll just say it that way. Uh, Remember on the last live stream, how she was talking, how Melissa was talking about everybody comes in at the pro pack. And I made a prediction. I was like, that's probably the most expensive pack. And then I looked it up and found out it was $7.99. And uh, I think in that last live stream, Melissa said, everybody, you know, I, I suggest this. This is what most people start with, like that whole song and dance that we hear from MLMers. Um, the funny part about this is that Melissa herself didn't even come in at the 799 Pro Pack, partly because it didn't exist at the time, allegedly, but um, she came in at the 499 Pack. So for her to sit here and say, everybody or leaders start at the 799, Melissa herself didn't start at the 799. <laughs> That's embarrassing. <laughs> of four products, I'm like, my people can actually come here and start to win. Oh, right. And that's what we've seen. I mean, it's only been seven days and I have people like after a couple of days being in, getting their first. Hold on a second. <laughs> Today is the 30th and um, somebody messaged me and said that this is from, this live is from yesterday, meaning the 29th of June. That means that she's trying to say that she signed up on the 22nd of June. Hey, Awakened, Danielle Mioli, if you are listening, I hope you are. Uh, also, I hope you're okay because I, we know what happens in this scenario. Somebody should probably check on Danielle. But anyways, uh, you did not enroll on the 22nd. You enrolled a week prior on the 13th, prior to you getting probably if if awakened is one of the companies that pays out on the 15th you probably waited for that check so why are you changing the dates that's so weird first paycheck of 200 or 400 and going i don't know how i made this much money but oh my gosh this is exciting right um and just being in the culture the past seven days like seeing melissa and brandon and the way they just are who they say they are. They do what they say they're going to do. There's no smoke and mirrors. There's no, those gross MLM tactics that you just feel. It Megan, <laughs> be for real right now. There's none of the gross MLM tactics. What do you mean? Like taking special deals, having volume placed under you. Uh, imagine all the secret calls and stuff, you know? Oh man. I mean, we know her lies. We do. We do. Yeah. I'm just looking at my notes because I know that there's things that I want to share with you guys. Uh, let's see. Oh, uh, yeah. Melissa has that the position as the 100K or 100 million or whatever. I think it's 100K. I don't know. Uh, because the CEO of the company moved her to the top of the company. I'm just reading. Hold on. Uh, oh, this is funny. <laughs> Sorry if you have headphones in. Allegedly, it has been, it has been alleged to me that about a year ago, Melissa said to somebody that she couldn't stand Megan. <laughs> and now here she is like, Megan is the best thing since sliced bread. And we're going to move a bunch of volume under her. And, you know, it's great to work with adults. It's great to work with people that have their emotions in check. And Melissa, <laughs> are you for real right now? 
geeky about. Like they just took all that away and really doing things different here. And I know every mm -hmm. company says that, but until you're in it, you actually see, holy crap, they actually are doing things to change the industry. So <laughs> I cannot. Oh man. I feel like the last few live streams, I've been in a very silly, goofy mood. Today is not any different. It's really interesting to hear her say all of this because I, j I can't. We're just going to keep going. We're going to keep going. Oh, I'm obsessed. I think mm. you guys are stuck with me. <laughs> oh, until the next grift. Okay. Sorry. <laughs> totally threw me off completely. I'm totally. Can you hear me? I was totally muted. What are we doing? Oh. <laughs> yes. Okay, sorry. Anyway, everything that Megan just <laughs> literally is exactly how I'm feeling. Um, honestly, did not want to ever go to another startup, was ready to walk away from the industry completely and go back to... Hey, Heather, this is not a startup. I think on the last live stream, Melissa mentioned, and I'm not going to use Melissa as a source, <laughs> but... I think this company was started in like 2019. This is not a startup company. Okay. It's not a startup company. This company has been around for like four years. So. Mm. Nursing. And when I tell you that, that was the hardest decision ever. I even told Meg, I'm done. I'm, I'm done. I'm right. going to find a nursing job and that's just it. And I'm just going to walk away because after what we just went through with the last company and the letdown after letdown after letdown. And, you know, but you, you guys sure didn't share that things, you know, that you were let down by the previous company while you were trying to sell the meditation goggles, whatever those things are, you, you sure weren't saying that you were let down then. Right. Wow. Putting your reputation out there with a product and it's, failing for so many people that is really really hard and it. it's hard because you've grown such a massive organization and you have you know you feel like was she did she grow the massive organ organization or was she gifted the organization by brandon the ceo of life activated brands wow you have this due diligence to help these people recover their money because they came in on such craziness. And now looking back, I, that's just a whole nother issue. But <laughs> whenever we got on a call, Meg asked me to get on a call with Melissa and Brandon. And it was like, you could feel the genuineness. You could feel just like you could tell they wanted to truly put money in people's pockets and help them with their health, like true health and wealth. And that is everything. You know, what's wild to me is Melissa said on the, the last live stream that the products don't matter. <laughs> she literally said that. <laughs> so here they are gushing about health and wellness and being able to help people. No, the product is recruiting. The product is people joining their downline. And then the interesting part about this is that it's been alleged to me, again, not stating this as a fact, but it's been alleged to me that Melissa will just move teams. Like she'll just move people. She'll go into the back office and she'll just move people. And the interesting part about that is apparently, allegedly, yes, I'm going to say that a lot. It's just how it is. Uh, Brandon and Melissa are customer service. So imagine having difficulty with your upline. And let's say that you message customer service. It could be Melissa answering that because they're operating out of her home. But go off about how professional. <laughs> go off about how professional you are, Melissa. Everything. And this isn't a startup company. This company has been around for a few years, but it's not been on the map yet. They just need the exposure. And I truly feel like we were led here to do that. And we're on a mission to do that. There's only 10,000 or 11,000 reps, right, Melissa? Yeah, and they're all under Melissa, apparently. And then you have Megan and Heather that have been moved up. You know, so if you're in life activated brands, <laughs> your sponsor may have recently changed. So you might want to check that. In the company. And you guys, that is like 
a startup company without all the problems, like with amazing products. These products, you will feel them instantly and feel amazing. Over the past weekend, I was at a family reunion eating all the things, all the fried things, everything. I messaged Melissa and said, I don't know what is happening, but I just came back and I ate literally probably eight times more than I normally do over the weekend. And I had lost a pound. A pound? That can happen if you poop. Ma'am, your body naturally fluctuates. So you trying to say, I ate all the fried things, by the way, there's there's, you should not sort food into good or bad. You should not do that. That's, that's extremely dangerous behavior in my opinion. Uh, but for you to say, I lost a pound, that could be, you didn't drink enough water. You, maybe you just pooped, maybe you had a bunch of coffee and pooped. I don't know. Uh, a pound, not significant, not significant at all. What? Like that, that doesn't happen. I'm sorry. Like, that is absolutely insanity. So no, it's not. the products yeah. work. It is insanity, Heather, because what you're what you're saying, in my opinion, is ignorant. Yeah. They taste good. The drinks taste good. People are loving it. And I'm it's just such a refreshing feeling. So that's all I have. All I know is that it's so easy to map out for somebody how to make five hundred to a thousand dollars a month and put that in their pocket every single month or more if they want to go bigger. You know, it would be really interesting to be able to fact check that. Have you guys seen, I'm going to pull it up. Have you seen life activated brands income disclosure statement? Because I need to show you guys this. Hold on. I'm going to share my screen in a second. It is, or looks like in my opinion, it's a PDF. <laughs> Remember, these are professionals, you guys. These are. <laughs> I just snorted. <laughs> oh, oh, God. Look at this. Okay, hang on. I'm going to make this bigger. Can you guys see this? <laughs> I just snorted again. Oh my God. This is Melissa's picture at the top of the IDS. <laughs> this is so professional. Income disclosure statement. The Life Activated Brands Compensation Plan is an exciting opportunity that rewards you for selling products and services and sponsoring other participants who do the same. Although the opportunity is unlimited, individual results will vary depending on commitment levels and sales skills of each participant. Since Life Activated Brands has recently launched, um, <laughs> it lacks an, uh, Brandon, this is embarrassing. Y'all need to update this. This has nothing to do with this, you guys, but I actually just recently learned, you know how I've talked about the MLM Love Winks before? I know you guys probably know what I'm talking about. <laughs> Apparently, they have been, I, I got to remember how this, how this happened. Apparently they have been using an old version of the policies and procedures on the website or something, and it hasn't been updated. So it makes me question, okay, all these people that they say have joined, which, okay, whatever. Um, all of these people that they say have joined, have they been signing and agreeing to the new policies and procedures or the old one. I'm just asking for a friend. Also, it's been alleged to me since we're spilling tea on this live stream that there is a new investor in Love Winks. And some kind of a, how do I want to word this? The president of the company is not getting anywhere near the same salary that she was getting. And instead they've also made her a distributor of the company. <laughs> hey, we're not going to pay you what you got paid last year and the year before and the year before that. So now we're just going to make you a distributor <laughs> and we'll put other distributors under you. <laughs> that's ethical, right? Uh, Jamie Lamp, I wonder if you're disclosing that to the company because that's probably pretty embarrassing for you. But maybe Stuart can sell you some, you know, hot tubs to make up for it. <laughs> oh, my God. Okay, back to the income <laughs> disclosure statement. Oh, God. All right. 
Since Life Activated Brands has recently launched, it lacks enough statistical data to prepare reliable income disclosures. In four years, there will be certain participants who will earn less while others will earn more. Yeah, like Melissa and Megan and Heather because they're placed at the top of the pyramid. But you should include that in this income disclosure statement because that's accurate, you know, in my opinion. Um, there will be certain participants, I already read that, we're excited about the Life Activated Brands Compensation Plan and we're confident it will provide you a solid foundation to help you achieve your financial goals. As with all endeavors, hard work and the time you dedicate impacts outcomes. <laughs> what a wild time, I agree, Rosie. If income projections were presented to you prior to your enrollment, such projections are not necessarily representative of the income, if any, that you can earn through your participation in the compensation plan. These income projections should not be considered as guarantees or projections of your actual earnings or profits. Success with life activated brands results only from hard work, dedication, and leadership. <laughs> oh, can you believe it? The income, if any. Huh? <laughs> okay, let's get back to the video. Well, I'm really grateful for the two of you. I've already said that once, and I'm going to say it probably a lot more times, but um, because of that exposure. Because because really, we, we have spent the last three and a half years laying the tracks, working out the kinks, and and what we need is for people to, to see the it. grift. I just want to say one thing before, um, before we grab, I'm going to grab Andrea first. Um, I'm just saying that. So she's prepared. So I don't like freak somebody out. Um, but Megan said something about systems and people in this industry use that word a lot, but, mm -hmm. but let me just give you some perspective. What they what they mean when they say we have a great system is an order of operation, meaning it's a list of things to do in which order. When, when I say system, and I guess we need a different word. I think we need a different word because people are always like, oh, yeah, everybody says they have a great system. I mean, systems are automated. Systems work when you're sleeping. Systems churn. Um, it, it is not A system is not a list of things to do on a piece of paper in a Facebook group on a PDF or on a website with do this, then do step one, step two, step three, step four. Maybe I'm wrong. Maybe other. Katie, are you listening to this? <laughs> because I'm pretty sure this is just. <laughs> She's saying not on a, a not on a PDF, not in a Facebook group. Instead, it's this is all in an app. They're so different, you guys. So different. Companies do have an actual system. I've not been exposed to it. Not not like this. Not where I mean. You know, you build a team of 351 people in seven days and don't even do onboarding calls because you don't need to because it's automated. That's what I mean by when I say system. I mean, it has metrics in it. We can, can't do that with an order. <laughs> the app is copy and paste step by step. So just because the delivery method is different does not mean the system is different. <laughs> of operation. So I'm not really sure if I'm frozen right now. Something strange is going on. You're frozen. Um, this, it keeps like, we're having really strange storms here in Nashville. Can someone in the comments tell me if you can still see us? Can you see us? I think all right. it looks like we're us. all back. Okay, yeah. I'm going to grab on live. Or what? Thanks, Kelly. <laughs> At one point today, I was on a Zoom and I and I thought a tornado. Also, I love the picture. I think I don't know. Have I told you guys what I'm gonna what I think I'm gonna be for Halloween? This has nothing to do with what we're talking about, but this reminded me. I think I'm going to. You know, last year, if you've been following me for a while, you know I did uh, reaction videos and I was dressed as Maleficent. And this year, I think I'm gonna go as Ursula. Yeah, I'm kind of excited about it. I'm having some fun with that. Okay, anyway, so let's get back to the video. Kelly, thank you for the reminder to like the stream. It was coming through. It was so crazy. 
Oh, Lisa says we're frozen. Oh, people say they can see us. Okay, I don't know what's going on. Everybody try and keep your face calm so that when we get frozen, you don't like look crazy. <laughs> All right, I'm going to grab Andrea. Do one of you girls want to step in and introduce this person? Because I, yes. I don't, I, literally these people have been here for seven days, which bothers me because I like, don't know who everybody is. Yet. My dogs are going to freak out the minute I do, but that's fine. Andrea, my girl, Andrea, she is amazing. She's been in the industry for Ah, uh, yes, the edification of the team member. By the way, they don't even use the word edification in the right way. It's so weird. A few years, she's also a nurse. Um, we have a lot of healthcare workers on our team because that's who we attract. And she was in a previous company with us. Um, before that, Andrea and I have been friends for a few years, and she was in another company. And I literally tried to prospect her for probably two years, and she always told me no. And I'm like, you're going to be my BFF, and you're going to be on my team. And sure enough, now we're BFFs, and she's on my team. And she's a rock star. She's done amazing th things in the industry. She shows up. She's very coachable. She's very present on social media, provides so much value to her network, and she's super excited about what we have here. So, Andrea, take it away, girl. Hey, guys. How's it going? Um, thank you, Megan. I love you. I love you all. Um, I, if I have to, like, get up and leave, I'm just going to start with this. I am on a colonoscopy prep, guys. So if I just have to leave, I'm just leaving. And this isn't the detox tea, okay? <laughs> we'll cover you. We got you. <laughs> so anyway, um, my name is Andrea Canello. And um, I, Megan was like in my, in, I felt these vibes coming like, like a month ago. And I was like, I just, something ain't right. Like something's not right. Like we need like. I feel like we need the shift, but I'm also like hard headed. And I was like, no, we're going to, we're going to make it work. It's everything's going to be great. And I knew those two over there, they were like thinking, and I'm like, I know that I, I can feel it. They didn't say nothing, but I could feel it. And then like a week after all those vibes. I mean, could it be the cryptic posts that they put up? Vibes. <laughs> I get this message and Megan's like, so <laughs> how's it going but i had already had my like foot out the door <laughs> and i needed something i needed a place and it's funny because we talk about this opportunity as like our healing place wait <laughs> this is supposed to be an opportunity this is supposed to be an opportunity live zoom whatever that's what this is supposed to be you're trying to recruit people into this with, with what you guys are saying here. By the way, <laughs> oh, it's been alleged to me that in the past, maybe the current, I don't know, <laughs> that Melissa brags about having an 80% close rate. I can't. I cannot from this doing this or the special deals because <laughs> I, I just have questions. And I, when I say like, I feel so safe here, like it's, it feels really. You feel safe joining Melissa's downline. <laughs> Talk about a sheep entering the lion's den in my opinion. <laughs> Let me stop. Good. Like it feels so good. And I'm just oh. gonna touch a little bit about the um like the on onboarding process. Like literally you can be hands off and you don't even have to tell your people anything. This app that Melissa created is actual gold. It's it actually is gold. And the Katie, can you can, can you please live stream? after this and do one of the videos from the app <laughs> that would be amazing i don't want to put you on the spot or anything i know i just did but that would be amazing by the way if you don't follow katie you should and if one of the uh one of the mods can put her channel on there that would be awesome <laughs> i can feel you giggling right now <laughs> yeah the fact that it's like a game because I don't know about you, but my husband, if he was a network marketer, he'd be a millionaire because the amount of time he plays games on his phone. And I know he is like an average American, like an average wow. person can get on here 
get on this little app, play the game of network marketing and win. It's like, I, I just, it, that alone <laughs> was amazing. Thanks. The products, you know. of course, I'm like, I'll sell it, whatever. I'll sell whatever it is. But I was shocked. Exactly. Because the products don't matter. Thank you for saying that. What is her name? Andrea. Andrea, thank you for saying that. I'll sell whatever. Yeah. Because the products don't matter. It's really all about recruiting. So thanks for saying the quiet part out loud. To realize that the products actually are good. They work. They're for $150 and you get four products. Literally, that's all I've taken. I really didn't try. Like, I, I didn't, I'm not like, I'm like, I need a, I need a schedule. I need, a, I haven't tried all the, all the exciting things, the live can of drinks, none of that. I got that in the mail and I'm excited to try it. But just from the system, lost five pounds. Just from the system, Whoa, wait, I have wait. more energy. Wait, 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 wait. <laughs> from the system and what they refer, what they've been referring to as the system is the app. So the app help you helped you to lose five pounds. Katie, is there anything in the app that helps with weight loss? <laughs> I this is so ridiculous. I can't help but laugh. Like this is embarrassing, you guys. <sighs> okay. And it's not like an energy that you have for like you know, like one time or like after three days, you don't get it anymore. Like, I feel like this is a built up energy. Like after four days, I'm like, oh, wow. like what's happening to me? Like I'm folding five loads of laundry and my husband doesn't have to do it on the weekend. Um, I'm actually loading and unloading the dishwasher and like not losing my mind on summer break with these kids. Like, so just I'm just blown away. I'm shocked. I oh, I missed that part. $150 for four products. Yeah. Okay. My bad. My bad. I absolutely love Melissa and Brandon. I like, I, I just felt their authenticity. And honestly, I'm authenticity, you say? Well, <laughs> remember on the last live stream how Melissa said she was at the top of Isogenics or she worded, I don't remember exactly how she worded it, but she was saying that, you know, she was very successful. Why is it that the highest rank that she ever achieved in Isogenics was something like one star crystal executive? Isn't that weird? And also the same thing with Brandon and Brandon was in a company. I can't remember the name of it. It was bought out by Isogenics. Um, he claims that he made a ton of money, but it's also been alleged to me that that's not correct. So here you have these two people that are like, we were the top of the company. We were so successful. We made so much money. Now we are a part of this new company and we're so successful and we're making so much money. Well, Melissa's making money allegedly because she was moved to the top of the company and all the distributors are under her. So <laughs> weird how that happens. Sure. People on this call have heard that too. Like, I love them. I love their... You know, it's easy to love people when you're a people person. But what speaks to people is $75 return on $150 commission. Like, let's be real. So I can bring somebody in here. I can bring a single mom in here. And she can pay her electric bill month after month after month if four people are on Livology Max Smartship. Uh, I would love for that to be shown in the income disclosure statement. Melissa, I dare you. I dare you to put the proof in the numbers on that income disclosure statement. I want to see median average, or I want to see averages, medians. I want to see income by rank. I dare you. If you're doing so well, I would think that you would want to update that on the income disclosure statement. Uh-huh. Yeah, you won't do it. You know what I mean? Like, it's just, that's the no brainer for me. I mean, I've, no brainer. I, plan, I you know, I, I want, I want to do big things. I've always wanted to do big things in network marketing. But when I say that I've been able to pay my electric bill in two days here, like it's exciting and I'm excited for what's to come. That's an income. Claim. And I don't feel like a rush or a pressure or a, it just feels good. So I hope that's what you guys are looking for. I love you all. I appreciate you all. And Thanks, Andrea. I have a question. I think I'm going to ask a question that I don't know the answer to, but, but I do believe I saw you drop a screenshot. You've rank advanced, right? Are you? I have. have you, I have. And I'm 131 away. 
I'm 131 what rank from you hit? 2K. Oh my God, Melissa, be quiet. <laughs> That's six ranks in seven days. You realize that? Yeah. And how many people did she bring from Awakened? How many people just joined because they, you know, know Andrea and they're like, oh, she's going somewhere else. I'm going with her. I bet a lot of those. So as yeah. long as all goes well, Crazy. I will be 2K ambassador. <laughs> That's exciting. Congratulations. That's amazing. Um, six ranks in seven days is legit. Um, and so I just. <laughs> if you have to say something's legit, it probably isn't. <laughs> wanted to say congratulations and I was a little terrified because a lot there's a lot of new people and a lot of new names I'm like I'm pretty sure drop your rank in the chat you guys drop your ranks in the chat <laughs> I saw her name <laughs> didn't want to mess it up but thanks for coming and talking to us I'm gonna go grab Abby now and wait this is so bad Spicy. Okay. Old star. I think we have Abby. Abby, you're muted. So uh, either Megan or Heather is going to unmute and introduce you. Heather's gonna. Oh my God! All these okay, rainbow. Oh, well. <laughs> Abby is a rock star. Abby is an amazing leader. We just met Abby when she came over with us in our previous company. Oh. So we've known her. I love that. Megan, for once, I think that is the first honest thing that you have said this entire video. She came over with us from the previous company. Bravo. We love, we love honesty and authenticity because the rest of it, you're not being very honest. Yeah. But that part, honest. You know, not a long, long time, but we have gotten to work with her very closely. She is so genuine She's so coachable. She's an amazing leader. Her people love her and she is a rock star. She does great things in the industry and she's known for that. So I'm re really excited to introduce Abby. Thank you, Megan. Oh my gosh. I am. Where do I start? Hold on. I'm going to turn that down. She's coming in hot. Good Lord. Let's start with the products because you know that you can't really have a company unless you have amazing products, right? So I've been on these products now for about five days. I can tell you the Moringa is my ultimate favorite. <laughs> that drink is so, it tastes so good. It tastes like a fruity tropical drink. Um, I crave it. But one thing that I've noticed, so I am the queen of um, night snacking. Like I literally could eat the couch. I just want to eat everything in sight at night. Like I don't know why, but it's been a thing and I can't, I could never find anything to help me with that. And you know what could help you with that? Eating. If you're hungry, eat. And if you're feeling challenged with your relationship with food, you could work with a registered dietitian. So, you know, taking an MLM product to prevent you from eating when your body is telling you that you're hungry, probably not the best idea. Also, uh, don't eat the couch. Don't do that. Mm -mm. <sighs> This Moringa is the only thing that I have found so far. Like literally the past three, four nights, I went to bed and I was like, wait a minute. I haven't, I haven't been craving, you know, the chips and dip and the crackers and cheese and the cookies. Like I literally haven't. So that is going to be a game changer for me. I cannot wait to see what a month actually brings with this. It's going to be nuts. Um, the Activate. I love the Activate. I literally can take on like 10 lions with this stuff. It is so good. She could take on 10 lions. Isn't that weird that she said that? I have not watched this, you guys. It's so weird that she just said that when I just said Heather, I'm not saying Heather is a sheep, but I gave the analogy of a sheep stepping into a lion's den. Isn't that weird how that, that's, I don't know. That's interesting to me. Good. And it's a laser focused energy. It's not like this jittery energy that you're all over the place, your squirrel brain, like you literally have so much focus with this stuff. Um, and then this is a little bit of TMI, but oh, I'm going to go there. <laughs> I am a super constipated human being. Like I literally will go a week without going to the bathroom. Yeah, it's awful. Um, I can tell you that I am now regular. This is like, oh my God, it is so... So awesome. If you have been 
um, somebody who is not able to go to the bathroom regularly, you know the feeling that I'm feeling right now. It is just so everything, your, your uh, energy, your the bloat you feel, it just, it's so nice to finally have found a product that I can actually um, feel better with. And then <laughs> I haven't tried it yet, but the Moringa collagen that is just launched. Oh God. I'm so excited for this. I am, anybody that knows me knows that I am a collagen freak. <laughs> I am obsessed with collagen. And now that we have one that's linked with Moringa, oh, I just, I cannot wait to try this. Um, so yeah, let me, about the business side. Um, I'm going to be honest. I really, I have been sick for the past week and I really haven't even tried yet. Um, <laughs> if you have to say, I'm going to be honest, are you really being honest? That makes people question whether you were honest about everything you said prior to that. Um, and this last week I made three figures in one week without even trying. <laughs> That's an income claim. Yeah. Don't worry. I'll send this to the FTC along with everything else that I covered this month in a Google drive. Yeah. So that excites me so much to know that my team can win here. My <laughs> biggest thing is my team has to win with me. And so many of these, uh, I've been in three different network marketing companies and I just felt like, did you follow Megan in all three of those? So was it Black Oxygen, Organics, Awakened, and then this? Hmm. Wild, you guys. This is wild. My team wasn't able to win with me, you know? And I just have this hope and this feeling that it's going to happen here. Um, Abby. Can I call you Abby? Uh, here's the thing. If you're... If you've been in three different multi-level marketing companies and you noticed a pattern of your team not winning, maybe, just maybe, Abby, it's time to look at the business model. Maybe it's time for that. Maybe it's time for you to say, well, why isn't my team winning? If it's not the systems, if it's not the products, if it's not the pricing, if it's not, you know, your leadership, Maybe, just maybe, it's the business model. Maybe it's time to actually look at that. That just gave me the hope. And then, like, you know, everybody has been saying the systems, um, the daily workflow. Like, so many people say to me, Abby, how do I win, though? What do I do? And I've always been stuck. And now that we have this thing where you can just, an app you can go to and say, click on this daily flow, daily workflow. And it tells you exactly what you need to do. You just have to put the work in. That is genius. I am so excited for my team to have this. Yeah. Yeah. And it's not, I mean, you know, people are listening to this and like, yeah, everybody has that. It's not telling people to send out spammy messages. It's not asking people to host a post in their wall. It's not. That's her Wi-Fi. That's not my Wi-Fi. That's the actual network and build an actual <laughs> Katie. <laughs> oh man, Katie. Actual business. Um, I think we're frozen again. I don't know what is going on. It's like we blink off. I don't know if you guys see that on your end or if it's just on my end, oh. but it's really seizure inducing over here like Ooh. off and on are we good we can still hear you katie you broke nope. it. <laughs> megan's gone i don't know heather's frozen abby can abby's moving at hyper speed <laughs> so strange oh stream yard why are you doing this to me um all right so okay but listen relatable considering the last live stream debacle <laughs> Not my best work. It happens. But yes, I, Melissa, I actually agree with you on StreamYard. I've definitely had my issues with it. Oh, are, are, can you hear me? This is, it's bizarre. It's like all of a sudden Megan's in slow-mo and then Abby's like in suit. <laughs> and I'm sorry, I, I couldn't even talk okay. a minute ago. Abby, Excuse thank me. you so much for coming. And... Oh, I can hear you, Heather. Talk. I just wanted to tell you guys, I'm not, I, 
I just couldn't talk. My husband again walked into the room and then walked outside and the dog just went crazy. <laughs> she's barking. She's barking. I can hear her growling at the door now. I'm just like, why? Like men, whatever, men. That's all I got. Okay, I'm going to shut this mic off now. All right, someone just messaged me and said it's only me that's freezing. So if I freeze, if it backs up, I'm just going to let Megan take over. But Abby, thank you so much for coming and sharing with us. I'm excited to have you on the team. I'm glad you like real. Um, I get some criticism because I show up to things in my Harley shirt. I mean, I'm just a person and I like t-shirts and I like to be comfortable. And if you are someone who really, really likes people from corporate to be in starch suits and sit in an ivory tower that costs $4 million a year so they can't pay you well, this is not the right place for you. Because I'm just, I don't like the dry cleaner and like everything goes into the washer here. I just throw it in and I'm like, it's the gauntlet. Like if you make it out then you stay in the closet and if not, you go in the trash. I'm not, I just, I'm not going to do that. and not going to, you know, and if I did that, people would criticize me because I'm too stuffy. So it doesn't matter. So I'm showing up like this, like a real person, like we're just trying to help people and help people make some money and help some other people feel, feel good. Um, and that doesn't mean that I need to show up in a start shirt. I don't think so. Abby, thank you so much for sharing. Um, we appreciate you and we're glad that you're here. We'll talk to you real soon. All right. I'm going to grab Nikki now and you two can do rock, paper, scissors or whatever you, you have system going on over there for who introduces This is Nikki. She is absolutely amazing. Most people call her mom or mama. So Nikki is probably in Heather's downline. She's a total mama bear. Um, I cannot say enough things about Nikki. She is literally like just the all around amazing team player that has the most incredible mindset ever. And I'm just so grateful she's here with us. Well, thank you for those very Nikki. She basically said you were easy to manipulate. Yeah. Yikes. The kind words. I'm excited to be here. So I'm fairly new to network marketing. I've been in two previous companies and they were both disasters. Nikki, that's not new to multi-level marketing. Were you also in bio brains <laughs> and then awakened? <laughs> and now here you are in life activated brands. Oh, Nikki, please get out. This is not going to, if you thought the other two were a disaster, just wait on this one, in my opinion. That's my prediction. <laughs> um, I am brutally, brutally honest. Uh, I swear. I Great. Nikki, uh, since you're brutally honest, did you get any volume or is it just Heather and Megan that got volume handed to them? Did they tell you about that? Nikki, I have so many questions. Go ahead and message me. I have questions. I drink. I party. And those other companies didn't want to see that side. Don't put that out there. Don't put that out there. And I, I followed Abby in. Um, Abby is amazing. And I got here. And the first thing I heard out of Melissa's mouth was an F-bomb. I was like, holy shit. I found, I found my crew. I found my tribe. Wow. She showed up in a t-shirt with a freaking bone on her head. It's all I was tape. like, hallelujah. I have found them. I have found them. I'm not a cut and paste kind of person. I don't want to be in my messenger all freaking day. Wait until Nikki finds out that in the past, allegedly, Melissa has showed up blitzed out of her mind like slurring bragging about how much money she makes bragging about you know you should only fly, fly first class and all kinds of crazy stuff yikes of course that's you know allegedly a long the reason why i left pharmaceuticals and stay home was so i didn't have to be tied to something 24 7. You are, though. I listened to the Zoom. I was super excited. I talked to Abby a little bit. Megan and Heather were, I was already in once I knew they were there. Um, and I was like, this feels real. This feels good. And to Heather's point, yes, I'm a huge, I am a huge mama bear. Most people call me Mama Nikki. When I found out that you're not going to throw this big 
bullshit convention and we're going to go to Guatemala and help the homeless and put shoes on babies. I'm like, I'm in, I'm in, sign me up. That's all I needed to hear. Now let's talk health benefits, health benefits. Oh God. Here come the health claims. I just have this feeling you guys. Your mama here is 50 years old. I'm in the throes of goddamn menopause. My life is goddamn disaster. This moringa is insane. Insanely good, insanely good, insanely good. I know that we cannot make medical claims. Got it. Understand that. But my blood sugars have been amazing. Ma'am, that's, that's a health claim. That's a medical claim. You can't say that. I've been a type 2 diabetic for 26 years. This gives me hope. This gives me hope. And it is so amazing to feel that good. I had my five-year-old niece today. I had, she was been up since 6.30. I took my Activate. I took my Moringa. I was able to keep up with her. After I heard uh, Fast Car by Luke Combs the 17th time, I snapped a CBD snap. Chill, mellow. Aunt Mickey, can I have some ice cream? Absolutely, you can have ice cream. I made three figures. I didn't start doing anything until three days ago on social media. I have a paycheck arriving tomorrow for me. And I get to be myself. I don't have to pretend to be somebody else, and I don't have to copy and paste. So, yeah, I found my tribe. Wait. You don't have to copy and paste, but that's what the app is? Art, what? And I am so freaking excited about that. I can see Heather laughing. Uh, well, you're fantastic. <laughs> um, just like hey, I'm, I'm super excited that you are here as well. I mean, you know, people out there, if someone's watching this and you're in the industry, you know, I spent a lot of years getting advice um, to put myself in this little box. You know the box. Get in the box and do your hair this way and make sure mm -hmm. you do this and this and this and everybody and get in the box. Don't offend anybody. I know you feel strongly about that, but don't say it because you might offend people. Just stay in the little box. And, you know, one of the things that I've learned is I don't want to say in that box because I also, Mickey, just like you were looking for your tribe, I want to attract people who are just like you. Thanks, Christina. And I don't want to attract people who feel like it's a good idea to attack someone for wearing a T-shirt or care what another person is wearing or create some <laughs> weird thing at conference where everybody has to dress the same or like... I think that we should all just come as we are. These are independent business owners and people should feel comfortable and happy and, and, and thriving for who they are. It doesn't impact me at all how you live your life, what clothes you wear, what you do. We, we, I don't know why. I. As long as they stay in line, right, Melissa? As long as they do what you want them to do, as long as... They are allowing you to be the top of the pyramid. If they want to lead on their own, oh, no, 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 no. We don't do that here. I'm the leader, right? Yeah. Don't and never have understood why people are that way. But I wanted to build a culture and a place that felt safe for everybody. Look, some people really like to dress up in, I, like Megan and Heather, I've seen them on stage with like really great up. I'm never wearing that. I can't wear that. I'm not, I'm not, I'm not all, I'm not there. I don't know how they got those pants on. I also don't know how they got them off. So I don't, I'm confused about it. And I'm <laughs> older than them. And I definitely go to the bathroom more. So I can't be wearing those pants. I don't suck at work. So <laughs> I wear the perfect pants from Spanx. If nobody has those, I'm just telling you, they are in fact, perfect pants. Um, but some people, and that's great. And some people like to wear like full gowns. I also don't like to do that. I think everybody should just come as they are and be respected and be comfortable. We're not here for a fashion show. We're not here for anything except for building a business and helping people. And it all gets so mixed up in some places. And I just, 
it blows my mind that this is supposed to be an opportunity live. The only thing they're doing here, in my opinion, is trying to talk about the pain points that people have experienced in multi-level marketing and then for them to say, oh, but we do things different. That's their whole pitch. That's embarrassing. I'm really glad that you saw that, Nikki, and I'm really glad that you're here because we need people just like you. I'm a 50 year old with purple hair. I don't fit in a box, nor do I ever want to. And You're I feel extremely. Purple hair princess we have at this company. No, we have no, another... I did. I saw. I'm sorry. Did she say purple haired princess? Do you guys hear the birds outside? I saw oh, Tracy. Wow. I saw yep. Tracy. Yep. She's famous for her purple hair around here. So y'all gonna have to do pictures together and stuff at some point because you're the you guys are gonna be the purple people. Um, <laughs> but yeah, she feels the same way about her purple hair. She's I think it's so great condescending. Like, like, cool. Like whatever you want to do, right? Um, and congratulations on your paycheck. Um, you did <laughs> do you. something. Just to be clear to Facebook land out there, so we're compliant. She did do, in fact, do something. What she's saying is it she doesn't feel I think what you're saying, if I can paraphrase Nikki, is you don't feel like you really went and like started and launched and did the whole thing and you already made money. And that feels good because it felt, you know, maybe simpler than in the past. It is exactly that. It is so simple. I hate having to reach out continually and go, what do I do next? What do I do next? What do I do next? I am the most coachable person you will ever oh, find. Man. And to be able to go to the app and say, okay, do this, do this, do this, do this. Perfect. I don't have to reach out. I don't have to bug somebody in Messenger. It's it's just simple. It's easy. It's straightforward. And that is me. And it's copy and paste. That's why Megan and Heather had the same kind of post where it said something like, I'm about to share something really vulnerable. So I'd appreciate you reading the whole post. Yeah. Me, simple, straightforward, and easy. It, it's well, just- It says on your shirt, you're expensive and difficult. That's according to my husband. Oh, don't get me oh, wrong. All right. I, I'm, just I, I'm just checking on your shirt. <laughs> I, I am okay. extremely expensive. Me too, he girl. Will. And I'm also difficult, mm -hmm. so oh, we're good. <laughs> I think that shirt is fantastic and I need three of them. All I right. can send you one. My sister made it for me. Oh, did she? That's <laughs> awesome. Well, Nikki, it was great to see you. Um, thank you for coming and talking to people. I will see you around um, real soon. Thank you, ladies. You. All right, girls. So I think that's what I think we accomplished what we came here to do. Um, just a few testimonies from people. And what was that? What What did you guys... <laughs> Melissa, what were you trying to accomplish? People who got started with you, who are making money, who are enjoying the products, who have taken a look behind the scenes, who are liking the culture. Um, I'm really, I'm really, I'm going to say it one more time. I'm really grateful for the two of you. Not, and just for everybody's knowledge, not just because you came and did $71,000 in sales. I'm grateful for that. That's uh -huh. awesome. Thank you. But that's not really what I'm grateful oh. for. I'm grateful for. Ew. Uh, partners who are emotionally intelligent and professional and want other people to win and who are aligned with my values and who believe the same things I do. And I'm really, I'm just really grateful that um, we all ended up, whatever the universe brought us together or how, whatever you think is happening, but. Uh, Ew, David. Um, <laughs> that, you know, I've been asking me. And I believe really firmly that everything happens in the exact perfect timing. And while she's going to continue saying, I wish I didn't do this or that alone, because we all do that, look back and, and question our decisions. Every single thing happened exactly as it had to in order to bring us to this moment right here, that all three of us could be the exact people we are to be able to create the situation we're going to create. Yeah. And so well, I'm grateful for every grateful that for you, too, so. And so grateful for you. Yes. Thank you for, for everything. Like you, Thanks. you are exactly what Megan, you should be saying, Hey, Melissa, thank you so much for the gifted volume, the large amount of gifted volume. I appreciate that. Also make sure you disclose that to your team, Megan. I hope they're on here. I hope they, I hope they're quietly watching this. 
because you guys need to ask that question. We need it in our life right now. We are so forever grateful for you. I have never had a leader uh, like you. I just haven't. And so I'm really grateful for you. <laughs> well, turning into a thank you, girls. I appreciate you. Thanks. That's good. I'm going to see you guys in a couple of weeks in Vegas. I'm looking forward to hanging out and, and seeing each other in person. I'm not going to have like Y'all are going to be here in Vegas in a few weeks. I wonder where. Black shiny pants on. I'll be the one with the ripped jeans. Um, and uh, it, <laughs> you wear whatever you want, though. Those look really good. I'm just saying they they looked very good. And I oh. wish I could figure out how to wear them. <laughs> what, what Heather say? We don't normally dress like that. No. <laughs> that was just for stage. no. That was just for for show. I think she said that was for. Did she say that was for social media? Yeah, because what they show on social media is not actually what's happening behind the scenes. That's not real life. In in Heather's words, you guys look amazing. You looked amazing. There's no doubt about it. All right. So I'm not criticizing you. I'm jealous, actually. <laughs> um, so I don't know which one of you is to do my shopping, but. <laughs> all right love you guys talk to you soon bye all everybody right. that was just for stage all right so that was the end of that but guys i uh that was just for stage thanks guys um i want to look at the comp plan because one of my favorite things to do is to let me screen share is to show you guys these companies may say Oh, wow. But look, um, you can you can get paid eight different ways. Life activated brands happens to be seven different ways. Let me make this a little bigger to make it easier for you guys to see. Is that cool with you guys? OK. Let me know if that's OK. Um, also, I'll, I'll let you know now that uh, JJ and Savannah are going to be staying at my house next month sometime. So it's going to be a good time. Uh, when you look at this, there are seven different ways to get paid, but only one of them is based off of selling a product, in my opinion. We'll go through this real quick. But retail profits, the first one is the only way, in my opinion, looking at this, that uh, you are going to, actually, I got to make this smaller, sorry, guys, uh, that you are going to make commission on the sale of the product. Everything else is based around recruiting. There's four different ways to qualify for commission. So customers, IBOs, which means... Uh, you become an affiliate and make your first sa sale and enroll your first customer, uh, an affiliate, which I don't think it's in the, like what an actual affiliate is. You may participate in the first three types of compensation, retail profits and roller bonus and sponsor bonus, whether or not they are active with a monthly qualifying order. There's no initial or ongoing product purchase required to be an affiliate, although it certainly it is certainly recommended and encouraged to use and familiarize oneself with the lav products. Yeah, because the distributors are the customers. The ambassadors are the only ones that can earn all seven of these types of uh, profits or commissions or bonuses. And a let's see. You have to be active with a monthly qualifying order, have met all the other requirements of becoming an ambassador outlined in rank qualifications. This is so like so complicated for no good reason. Wait, is this it? Okay, retail profits. Uh, th that's based on the sale of a product. Enroller bonus pays out 25% of the CV on the first order. So it's probably customer volume. I bet that's what CV means. Hold on, I'm going to scroll back up. I want to verify. CV, commissionable volume, excuse me. This is volume that's created when an item is purchased that has a volume value attached to it. <laughs> Allowing commissions to be paid out to IBOs based on that value. Okay. Uh, let's see, enroller bonus. So that's the 25%. 
this bonus pays to the person who personally enrolled a new customer or IBO. Then you have sponsor bonus. That's recruiting. Do they give a percentage of commission on the retail sales? $100. Yeah, IBO who enrolled the customer. Yeah, so it's 25% essentially is what it sounds like. <laughs> then you have team commissions. And team commissions are from recruiting. Look at this, guys. What is this shape right here? What is this? This looks oddly like a pyramid. <laughs> oh, this is a binary comp plan. Mm -hmm. Then you have the leadership check match also based on recruiting and having a team essentially and, and your team also recruiting. Then you have the leadership pool. So this is where the... The company sets aside 1% of total company CV, commissionable volume, every active IBO achieving and being paid at the rank of ambassador 25K or higher qualifies to receive a bonus based on the allocation of shares. The pool will be split into total number of shares. See rank advancement quick reference details at the end of this document for shares paid per rank. Now, this says you have to be at uh, ambassador 25K and here are the ranks. So you start with affiliate, then there's affiliate plus, super affiliate, and then ambassador 500 and it goes all the way. And here we are, ambassador 25K. So this is three, six, nine, 12, 13, 14, 15 ranks in the comp that's you have to be at the 15th rank of the company and there are a total of 25 ranks in the company <laughs> yeah and six of the seven ways that you can get paid they say allegedly uh are from recruiting or or having a team Rank advancement. Oh, this is interesting. Okay. So you have to have a 70 for the affiliate. This is where you have a number of customers. You probably have purchased a kit. And I don't know if you purchase a kit in this company, if you're automatically at a certain rank, I'm not really sure. Yeah, it's 25 ranks. Isn't that crazy? Uh, let's see. Duplication, personally enrolled. That means that you have, you've recruited somebody. So you have one customer at the affiliate, two at the affiliate plus, you have uh, two customers and one distributor, one affiliate, in order for you to hit that rank of super affiliate. So third rank in the company requires recruiting. Yeah, and it would be really interesting to see what affiliates and affiliate plus ranks we're making and to be able to look at that at a, as on their income disclosure statement, but it's two paragraphs and there are zero numbers. So this is where you're considered a team leader. And again, you have to recruit and then team directors, the, there's four ranks within that. You have to recruit. This is crazy. I should do a whole nother video on just this comp plan. Maybe Melissa can put it in a spreadsheet for me. Just kidding. Anyways. All right. I'm done with, with that. Yeah. Ridiculous. How can they claim this is so amazing? You know, and the interesting part is uh, they claim to be so different. Nothing about what they said, did, what has been told to me but that happens behind the scenes is different. None of this seems to be different. It's the same. The only thing that's different is instead of a Facebook group, or a website, she has an app. And the thing that in my opinion is extremely deceptive is the fact that it's been alleged to me that the profit from the app goes directly to Melissa and not to the company. And if you join this company, I'm being told that you are prompted to get the training and the training comes from the app. So you're joining at the $4.99 a month, $4.99 a month, or $54 for the year. That goes right into Melissa's pocket, allegedly. And I think that that's super deceptive, along with everything else. So I know this was a little bit different. This kind of transformed in the last few days. Uh, this was supposed to be kind of an MLM horror stories. And I guess all the, the, the details and things that I shared sprinkled in, consider those MLM horror stories. 
uh, thank you to everybody that has reached out. I appreciate you guys so much. If you have not already, I see your comment, Katie. If you have not already liked the stream, please do me a favor, like the stream, make sure that you're subscribed. And uh, this, I don't suggest it. I do not suggest this company. I mean, or any MLM for that matter. But uh, I'm waiting for, for the, the boxing gloves to come out when it comes to Melissa and uh, Megan. I think there's going to be some serious battles here. Because one thing that I have heard over and over again is that Melissa does not do well with competition. And I'm just wondering if that's because she can't cheat the system. Just a question, you know. Uh, when you're moved to the top in the company by the CEO, how is anybody going to outsell you or out recruit you, make more money than you. It's impossible because that's how the business model has been created. But anyways, uh, shout out to Melissa, Melissa Collins, uh, Megan Desart, and also uh, Heather. I don't know what Heather's last name is, but shout out to you guys. Thanks for putting this out there. Thanks for the individuals that sent this to me so that I could react to it and sprinkle in some information that's been shared with me by a large amount of people. You know, when you have a history of wronging people, eventually those people are going to start sharing their story. And those brave human beings that share their story are what unravel the ball of yarn, you know, that little that little piece that comes out and somebody goes, "Oh my god, they're telling their story. I should tell my story too." And then all of a sudden, all of these stories come out and it prevents the, I'm going to use the word predator in this example. I'm not necessarily saying that the people that I'm talking about are predators, but when you have somebody that is taking advantage of other people and people that are brave start coming out and sharing their story, it takes the power away from that person taking advantage of other people and prevents other people from falling victim to the scam, whatever it is, you know, you know what I'm saying? So keep telling your stories. Keep telling your stories. Keep messaging me. I will help to tell your story. And uh, you're not the only one. You're not the only one that this person or people, leaders in multi-level marketing companies have taken advantage of. You're not alone. So it's time for us to get loud. The movement is really loud. And I'm so grateful to be a part of that. So keep telling your story. Or start telling your story. Anyways, uh, again, like the stream, subscribe. If you have not already followed me on social media, pick your platform and uh, go in and follow. I would appreciate it. And thank you guys for being here. Thanks for all your commentary. Shout out to all the moderators. Shout out to uh, all of the members, everybody that has watched all the way through, everybody that comments and those that lurk and just watch. I appreciate every single bit of that. And if you're in this person's downline, any of them, highly suggest you get out. Just my opinion. But all right. I'm out. Have a good night, everybody. Good day, whatever time you're watching this. And guys, don't join an MLM. All right. Don't do that. Not worth it.